Hello Internet and my fellow Highland Dancers, this is Jana with Deidre, my amazing Highland Dancing Monkey. And it's morning time, and you guys don't know this, but I never vlog in the morning because I feel like I look terrible in the morning. But uh, today I realized that tonight I'm probably not going to have time to vlog, and I haven't vlogged in a few days, and it's weird, and I, I wanted to vlog today. So, I'm vlogging in the morning now. <laughs> So, I have a list of things I want to talk about today. Like, I actually wrote them down. <laughs> the first one is my little sorting note system. And I am pretty convinced I'm the only person who does this. But after I have a class, what I do is I go to my iPad and I go through my notes and I sort them into each dance. Like the fling, the sword, the shoes, and into each step. And then I have like a general note place that I put stuff that just I suck at in general. Like the balls of my feet! <laughs> but, um, I do that like on the bus and it takes me like half an hour and it, like it's a happy time for me because I love sorting things and I'm like, this note goes here and here and, and it makes me so happy and yeah, so. That's fun, and I completely recommend it to anyone because then it's so much easier to find the notes before a competition. Because, like, you know, you go through your last class's notes, and that might not, not that might not have necessarily covered everything that you need to work on for the competition. So you have to flip back and find each dance. It's just so much easier if you put it on like your iPod or your iPad or something. And yeah, that works for me. So I thought I would share that with all of you. You're welcome. So, what did I have next on my list? My junk food plan! As you guys know, my junk food week is over. Um, but I have a plan because I have my grad this weekend, which I have to be all skinny and stuff for. And then I have competitions the next weekend. And then a week and a half after that, I have a Scott dance. So I have a plan. On the day of my grad, I will only be able to eat junk food after my grad ceremony is done and not a lot of it like I'm gonna control myself but I'm allowed to have junk food if it's at like the grad reception type thing I don't know what it's called but where you sit around and you talk to people and you eat food that and then the next week I will completely be off of junk food again and then after the first competition on the Saturday I will be allowed to have a donut at the donut mill because there's a place called the donut mill and it is the best donut place in the world and I love it and I'm allowed to have like a donut and like fries or whatever because you don't go to the donut mill and not get donuts and fries their fries are fresh who passes up fresh french fries not me and then after the second competition on the Sunday I haven't decided <laughs> but then for the rest of that week and until Scott Dance, no junk food at all. <laughs> because while I'm at Scott Dance, like, if we're at a crepe restaurant, I'm not gonna pass up, like, a chocolate crepe. Who passes up a chocolate crepe? Again, not me. <laughs> so that is my junk food plan so far. <laughs> I like how it involves control yourself, but yeah, that's my junk food plan. And hopefully I don't look like a huge slob in my costumes because I get extremely fat when I eat junk food. Well, not extremely fat, but I get like bloated and stuff, so. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing is, I wanted to ask people watching my vlog, even though none of you ever comment, which is kind of sad because I feel like you're just kind of watching my vlogs and, okay, halfway through, like, click away because, you know. <laughs> What is she talking about? <laughs> but, um, yeah, how do you guys fly with your costumes? I am asking this because there's a certain, like, personal item size and a carry-on size, and my garment bag is a little bit too big, and we could go get a smaller garment bag, but I thought I would ask the interwebs first, because some people watch my videos and might have flown with costumes. How do you fly with like your kilt and stuff? Because I want to bring my kilt on as a carry-on, but I have to get 
your new garment bag. So, any advice there? Please? <laughs> See, can you say no to this face? No, you probably can. Can you say no to Deidre? No. You can say no to Deidre. <laughs> Obviously, that's why I have a monkey in my vlog. Yeah. And there's a hornpipe at Scott Dance. So on Tuesday I decided I was going to do the Ford Crab Walk step because that was in the premiership and I worked really hard on it, but it's not going too well. So I'm I'm gonna work on it. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> so questions other than my question about advice for traveling stuff, which would be appreciated if you would answer that. One. Is there a step that you chose to do in one of your dances that you absolutely hate, but you're just doing it because you feel like you have to? Like my forward crab walk step? And that does not include doing like hike it's in the reel, because you actually have to. And two, do you have junk food plans around competitions? Do you have like food stuff that you do? Is there like certain breakfast that you have before competitions? Or three. Do you have a system for sorting your notes that is not the system that I have? Or do you use the system that I have because it's awesome? Or will you use the system that I have because it's awesome? Anyways, this is a really long vlog. <laughs> Farewell my fellow Highland dancers. I love you. DJ loves you. Bye bye.